It is Tenille, your cloth napkin doctor. I have been promising in the group I would do this for the last two days. We've had a couple of people asking lots of questions. Trudy's getting heaps of questions about newborn nappies. I have no idea why. November, it's usually September, nine months after New Year's. But for some reason, maybe you all started a bit later this year in 2017. Who knows? It was really hot though in September, so <clears throat> there you go. Um, so I've had to delay doing answering your newborn cloth napkin questions because I've been full up with a cold and I lost my voice. So I'm hoping it will stay to let me to do this. I'm feeling really good at the moment, so sorry for not advising when this is going to occur. I thought I'd just get in, answer your questions if they're great. Otherwise, pop them up as the day goes on and I'll answer them. But the questions coming up are, <clears throat> how can I cloth nap your newborn? And it's ranging from the cheapest way possible, can I use what I've got, what inserts should I use, should I use two inserts and one insert, oh, it's really, they're great questions, which has uh, I need to have a chat. So, there's a live giveaway as well, we have Care Bears from Romps, and their um, newborn cover is awesome, so this is their newborn Care Bears. And um, Rumparoo's covers are really, really, really popular because they're really, really good. Um, and nappies, um, although we sell it at Carly, we call them bomb proof. Okay, they make life easier. You know, you can do what you need to, and you carry on. So Rumparoo's cover, newborn cover, looks like this opened up. And what I love about them, they have a double gusset, good elastic. There's elastic at the front and the back, all right? So give a good seal for those loose poos. It's the Care Bear print, and it's got the special tags, so you know it's official. Okay, what is also great is, right, you can snap it down at the front. So they go from preemie to, I think it's about five, six kilos. So they last a while, and you can use the covers over any newborn, whatever. So, Newborn covers are great because you get lots of different colours and you usually need about six to get you through. What do you put in it? Hello, Hira. Valentine's babies. I did, yeah, I like that. Yeah, see, wait, my husband doesn't really do Valentine's Day. He never has. There you go. I like that. Yes, you're switched on this morning. There you go. All right, what do you put in them? Okay, so this has been one of the most common questions. I've got the cover, what do I put in it? Obviously, obviously, where are we? Newborn pre-folds. Easy, fold in four, okay? And pop it in the cover. All right, you can do little, little, all right? Now, with covers, you wanna make sure you get this sort of little bucket effect. All right, so it sits in there nicely. All right, some covers don't have enough width and you can't stuff it. Ones that are, are not as wide, you can't stuff it lots for lots of absorbency. Okay, so this would fit better with a three fold. And pop that up. Okay, see? Beautiful. All right, you pop that on above. All right, I will warn you, I get very, um. The estrogen flows when I do newborns. I tend to giggle a little bit and get a little bit excited. So there you go. So, now, newborn pre-folds have less absorbency than your bigger sizes. So sometimes they're infant size or size two or three. Hello, Laura, are bigger and have more layers of absorbency. All right, these have been washed. Um, pre-folds usually shrink a little bit. These are organic cotton from Bommies. All right, now if you have the newborns and you find after a week or two your little one is a piddler, um, these are based on an average kid changing every two to three hours. If you find you have a piddler or a pooper, use two of them. And I, of course I don't have a second one here. Use two and folks, they are thin and they're absorbent and these make fabulous boosters in your next size up pre-folds. And I'll show you. 
So th this is gonna, I'm just gonna let my brain go. Hello, Laura. I know Care Bear's awesome. So newborn pre-folds, you can use in your next size up pre-folds. Usually you your one size as boosters and fold them in however you think you need to fold it. And I'll do a video on pre-folds soon too. So you can use them as boosters. Okay, so you never buy newborn pre-folds and never use them again. You always use them again. All right, as Bub gets older, boys can fold them to where you need the absorbency. They're awesome. Good morning, Josephine. We love our pre-folds here. Just moved up to infant pre-folds at nine weeks on our mini girl. I know. Well done. Yes, I, I love pre-folds because I can be a bit of a cheap ass sometimes. Because I like to spend my money on cute covers. <laughs> I'm not going to do any more, but you know, anyway. So, okay, so newborn pre folds. Yes, they're thinner in absorbency, but you can fold them. Do you have to use a snappy? No, you don't. Can you use a snappy? Yes, you can. All right. You can also use pins. We sell the pins, we sell the snappies. So you can choose. Okay, and there's lots of different folds, and I've done a previous AMA on folds. I'll link that below. Um, I need a pen and paper to remind myself. All right. So there you go, so you've got pre-folds. Now, if you find you need the bigger one, <clears throat> you get a shorter length if you fold it this way, and it will fit in a newborn cover, completely unsnapped. Okay, so you get more absorbency. Just realize it will be a little bit more bulky, so I'll show you. So there we go, it's in, beautiful. All right, now you can use the Rumparoo's covers <coughs> to, um, sorry, to the Rumparoo's inserts that come in bamboo, hemp, and micro, not the microfiber, in these covers as well. So that's with an infant pre-fold. So that's your size two or three or your middle size, okay? It's just a little bit more bulky on your newborn, but more absorbency. So you can go up and down. <coughs> <clears throat> Wait. Yes, you can buy Care Bear covers. There's a special listing on Apricali for Care Bears. We separated, separated the products out, so you just go to one spot. All right. It has been a bit of a bold and beautiful moment with Care Bears. We have, um, we have, the, co we have the covers and the change mats. The other things we're still waiting for. Believe me, I'm not happy. Alrighty, so pre-folds. Okay. You can also got your flats, okay? This is our Simply Cloth Bamboo flat, all right? And you can fold it however you want, okay? There's lots of different folds. Now, when you use flats, once again, you've got to make sure that cover has that wider groin. If it's a very trim cover, as in they take some out through the groin to make it really trim, and they're usually for um, newborn, the actual MCN nappy. All right, so I'll show you, you don't really stop them. So what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh, I can show you here. So this is a baby behinds newborn. All right, I'll come to this in a minute. I'll show you what I mean about a wider groin to allow for those pre-folds and those flats. Okay, so as you can see, I'll put it in there. It can actually cover the whole nappy. All right, so. Just because you're gonna have more material in here, these modern cloth nappies for newborns, all the, the absorbency on the inside is contoured and really nice looking, okay? That's why these options are cheaper. There's not as much sewing involved. All right, so as you can see, I do this. Yeah, I think I can. It's much, 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 much wider, the covers. I think you get the idea. All right, okay, I'll come to those. So other covers, <clears throat> so that's your snap cover. You can grab this one today, the instructions are up at the top, but I'll come back and talk about it. Alrighty, I'll better put it where I'm gonna remember. Go right Velcro, should you have a Velcro or snap fastening? Hello Kylie. Snap or, um, snap or Velcro fastening newborn cover. Up to you. Now, in the early, early stages, you might find it a little bit fiddly doing the snaps because it's on a little, little body. Oh, and I brought my dolls as well to show you. 
Oh, I'll get them going as well. All right. See, it's, it's all this baby stuff. Okay. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Please just just laugh at me. I'll make me happy. <laughs> laugh with me more so. Um, so with snaps, depending on the type of cover, you've got, it's just a bit more fiddly because Bub is so small. All right, so I'll put it. This is Matthew. If you've been to the expos, you would have met him before. It's just a little bit more fiddly. Um, and if your bub's a little bit, I don't know, a bit temperamental, you're temperamental because you haven't had enough sleep, that's okay. I know, Kylie, I'm hoping, I am so hoping, and you have been so patient. I'm so embarrassed. I, I am just, I am, oh. Obviously, don't treat your newborn like I just treated Matthew. Hi, Caroline. How are you? All right, I'm snapping this up. Now, as you can see, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit fiddly. It's a little bit fiddly. All right, there you go. Oh, I've got another break. Oh, I've got no more kids. Hi, Caroline. Yeah, good on you, Caroline. All right. Okay, so it's a little bit more fiddly with the snaps for those really, really early weeks, particularly if you have a little bub. So my Alistair was tiny and would have given me the willies. So next option is Velcro and a good Velcro. All right, this is your Bummies Forest Friends newborn cover. Some come with a flap. Should you use the flap? Okay, I've heard, yes, you should use the flap because it helps keep the pre-fold in place at the front, okay? I've heard that. I've experimented with this and found it doesn't matter, actually. It doesn't, nothing really matters. Depends on how your kid pees and poops. You can use the flap at the front to help keep it in place or what I've been told by bummies is don't put it under the flap because that acts as another layer of leak proofing, for leak proofing, all right, for your butt. So I'll pop this one on Matthew again. Now Velcro, as you see, you just whack it on and off you go. Okay, now Matthew is a premie, all right, and there you go. Good seal around the leg, as always. So there's a... I mean, cover. Alrighty. Where to next? Okay. What else can you put in a cover? This was a really good question from Marion on the in the group website. Here we go. You can use a washer if you wish, a flannel. You can use a wipe if you have wipes. You can use your prefold and a wipe if you need more boosting. It's just less bulk. You can use. A tea towel, clean, of course, and disinfected. And you can use whatever you need to inside a newborn cover. Now, some parents buy extra boosters. This is a Simply Cloth booster. Okay, it's two layers of bamboo. And just use these. So sometimes having a few extra boosters, particularly in the early days when you just don't know what you've got and you've got to change, 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 change. Can pop that in. Perfect. All right. If you don't want to buy more pre or buy more prefolds, you can use a baby bee Heinz bamboo booster. All right. Now this one's a polar fleece, but no, it's not polar fleece. It's a bamboo fleece. All right. Poo doesn't really stick to it all that well. These ones that have a terry, the poo will stick well. How do I know this? My darling girl has output like a newborn. All right, so I use a lot of Terry to keep it in place. Things you didn't know. Hey, Lauren. Okay, so say hello if you're there. Let me know, I'm gonna be talking for about, I don't know what, ask any questions. Ask them, I'm here. All right, so use your bamboo boosters. Now I had a baby behinds cover here as well. Now, this one's also Velcro. Now, difference between the bummies and the baby bee hinds. 
on the baby behind, which is the blue one, you can only cross it over one way. Left or only if you're the left, all right? On bummies, you can go either way. Either side, you can cross over. So if, you, if you've got left and right hand, if that's a consideration for you, some people have arthritis in their hands, that is a consideration. These are good, um, Velcro's great for big fingers, um, dads, those who have um, any issues with their hands, and young kids if they're gonna be changing nappies too, because the snaps can be a little fiddly. Alrighty. Um, I was gonna show you the Baby B Heinz booster shrinks a little bit right, as it goes as a newborn insert and how beautiful she is look at that now you've got a newborn nappy because you're going to use your boosters all the way through okay and tuck it in and the baby behinds have a wider groin down here as well to allow for that it's still really true there you go all right so there's a cheats way to get your changes. Hi Julia! Hi Samantha! Alrighty, okay. Now, can you use one size covers on new boards? Yes, you can. Alrighty, on little primaries, you, you just won't get the seal around the leg. Alright, that's the issue. Now, <clears throat> I showed on a video there are some tips and tricks to it. So this is a one size bummies cover, which are really stretchy. Um, you wanna look for some good elastic around the leg that has a soft stretch on it if you wanna use them at newborn. Some are um, just a little bit, can be a bit stiff. Hello, Olivia! Um, what shall I put in it? Now, this is where if you need extra absorbency, your, pre, your infant pre-fold. So if you bought the newborns and you've gone, oh, I've had the e Tell me if that's right, please. Alrighty. Your infant pre-fold is where this will come in. So if you all of a sudden find, oh my gosh, Bub's out when you're newborns, move up to your one size cover and your infant pre-fold. And you are ready to go. Now, Depending on the size of bub, it will be a little bit bigger, and you'll see why. So there's your newborn, okay? It gets a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger on your newborn. They're okay, it's all right, okay? It's a little bit bigger. Just think about the olden days when they had these big cotton terry flats. Yes, thank you. Hi, Jessica. Alrighty, what we got? Hi Danielle, would you recommend these types of nappies for kids with severe disability? My son is severely disabled and nappies are becoming a pain to buy as they only go to get to one size in the shops. Then you have to get the con continent nappies, which are super expensive and ugly. He's on a liquid diet, so you can imagine what his poop is like. Oh yes, Danielle. Yes, Abigail's on liquid as well and she has started the um, cannabis oil trial. I use these for Abigail. Hi Louise! Oh Louise, there's no such thing as no more nappies pledge. There isn't. There is no such thing. Every nappy saves you about 400 bucks. If you buy one, you save about 400 bucks over two, three years. All right, Danielle, yes, I would recommend these nappies. Um, getting the correct fit and absorbency is the key. Now, some of the nappies we've seen for um, special needs kids don't have the absorbency. Um, and I, when I speak to manufacturers, I will not stock them. We've had a few people contact us. Good morning, Laura. Um, so yes, I would recommend, I use them for Abby. I will do a special needs video over the Christmas, um, January period when we quieten down for about three weeks. Um, that's my special needs to get it out there. But I use them for Abby. Um, we have some larger ones in there that you can add more absorbency. So you want to... It gets easier when the kids are older because they're not growing as much. We just want to make sure we get the rise and the absorbency. It's the absorbency that's the important part and what goes against their bottom. So um, I use them for Abby. I can also talk to you about um, very loose poos. Um, so you're welcome to send us an email to Trudy and she can forward it on to me um, and I can assist there. Hi, Rohini! 
Um, so more than happy to help Danielle, um, absolutely. I use them for Abby and I'm talking to manufacturers about ensuring they do the right thing by us. Radio. It, it, it's a long conversation, as you would know. All right, because our kids are all individual, all individual, as it's all kids. All righty. More absorbency. Is your infant pre-fold and your one size cover? You can go up in size covers. Um, using size covers, all it means is you have less material you have to tuck away. All righty, and it can provide a bit of a trim of fit and less fiddling around. Where's your next? What we got? Um, what have we got? We got, hi Danielle. Yes please Danielle, send me an email. Um, actually I'll do this one for you Danielle. Right here. This is the pocket nappy. So as you move up, I'll do fit it after this one. I'll do some for Danielle because she's around. Um, because Apple, this is Apple Cheeks. They do a size four cover, which goes up to about 30 kilos. All right, and I can show you what this is. It's exactly the same design as you move up, all right? So it has a lining of micro fleece. Yes, micro fleece. Hi, Samantha. What are the best pre-folds to get for a new board? Best pre-folds, right. I'm, uh, I'm terrible because we get everyone with different preferences and I'm not gonna tell you what's the best because it depends on what you want and what you want and what I want is different. Bummies do an organic cotton. So, okay, so if you want um, the environmental factor. Um, organic cotton. Um, Grow via do a organic cotton and bamboo. We haven't seen much in absorbency difference between those two. I know you can get bamboo ones. I get different responses with regards to the bamboo, particularly for um, heather wetting babies. So I think, who does the bamboo? Um, there's bamboo ones out there, different sizes. Um, bamboo is, isn't as hardy as cottons, so if you want to pop them in a dryer, cottons are better. Uh, real nappies do a straight white cotton as well. They're thick and lovely. So there's, there's lots of options. So Samantha, you have four weeks and you're getting leaks. So if you can let me know what you're using, if you're boosting, that will help me. And then we can troubleshoot that. And maybe he just needs a little booster in there or a um, newborn folded up, an extra one in there. So let me know what he's using, then we can troubleshoot. Okay, apple cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna do this and then I'll answer questions. Now, Apple Cheeks is unique in that it has, this is backwards, it has a pocket. You can use it as a pocket or a lay-in cover. Now, the idea with this pocket is that you have your insert. This one's from the X Library stock, so you can see what it looks like washed up. They're really big pockets, so dads have no excuse. And grandfathers, whoever else, pop it in the pocket. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then when it goes in the laundry and the single wash tub, it falls out. That's what it's about, all right? It's got the ruffles on the legs. Now, some people like the ruffles, some people don't like the ruffles. There's no preference for them. They can help the ruffles keep the loose poos in. Hi, Jordana. Yes, Julia, real nappies are awesome. Hello, Rebecca Care Bears. Very good. All right. Ruffles, some people like them, some people don't like them. They can help keep the poos in compared to just an enclosed elastic like, like Funky Fluff, newborn. That's an enclosed elastic. This one's got some ruffles. Alrighty. Um, so it was a micro fleece lining. Micro fleece is good than your suede cloth. We have found a bit at keeping the poo in place. So if it's a bit loose or a bit mucusy. I know too much about poo guys so I'm really sorry. It stays in place. You can place the bamboo inserts on top as well Danielle if you find that's a better option. And it's only two snaps across the front as well. We've been using these for Abby and we've had um, with their extra large um, pre-folds which are bigger and three layers of bamboo. We haven't had leaks and Abigail's 12, size of a 10 year old. So that's their newborn. There's lots of room to grow in the apple cheeks as well. So it's not just for a couple of weeks. 
Um, we've had great success, Danielle, so far. Um, we have not experienced a poo in them yet. Um, I am to experience that. We've had a poo in the baby behinds extra, extra large, and that was contained. Um, yeah, but you can, free to chat. Hello, Karina. Right, so that's apple cheeks. That's a pocket. So a pocket's quite, you put it in a pocket. I love pockets, they're really easy to explain. Oh yeah, what else we got? So let's move on to, oh my gosh, we moved. Come back, there we go. These are baby behinds newborns. Now, this is a structured newborn nappy. This is like you grow via nappies as well. Um, I hope that helps, Danielle. I will do a video for the special needs mum of older children really soon, I promise. Okay, so baby behinds is a structured nappy. So it's unlike just a cover and put in a square rectangle insert or your pre-fold in flats. This is where you get a lot of contouring. And this is why these ones are a bit more expensive. Okay, so they, they're more like the disposables. Whack them on and off you go. Now, baby behinds have the suede cloth on them. All right, it's a high quality suede cloth as well, so they no pilling. Left pilling. It's got a wide elastic. A wide elastic up here means you can move it up and get a bit more of a smaller fit. All right, so you can move it up or do it, if you have a little one, you can do it on an angle. So I'll show you what I mean. You can move it up and fold it over a bit if you need to, for a little bubble, okay? Now, the inside of these, Velcro's good. Hi, Vanessa. Okay, okay. Now they can't. They um, re-jigged all their all-in-ones. <gasps> Took them a while, but they did it. Okay, three, uh, six layers of bamboo. Okay, which is not all together, so it dries much quicker. Okay, so there's lots of absorbency in the nappy, and it's. And all in one because it's attached to the shell. Your absorbency is attached to the shell. Okay. Now you can have it natural fibers against baby's bottom, or tuck it in the pocket. Okay. Again, the pockets are good and big. All right. The groin across here is a bit wider than some uh, newborns. So you also get a little booster with them. This little booster is great for your boys or girls because you can put it wherever you need it. So you can put it right along because you can't customise the absorbency on the insert. That just stays like that. But with the booster, if you've got a boy, you put it at the front. You've got a girl, you put it in the middle usually. Okay, can go in the pocket or outside the pocket. You can choose. Hello, Jamie Lee. Oh, I like that name. Already, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm a bit squirrel at the moment when I get a cold. Squirrel. Whoever seen that movie? I think it's, I think it's the one with the balloons. Up, is that the one that's called? Up, the house goes up, they go on an adventure. Yeah, anyway. All right, so that's the baby behind newborn. It's Velcro. And unlike their covers, which I said before that you couldn't cross over either way, you can on their newborn. Maybe if they're watching, they might go. So there we go. And there's um, only three at the moment. So you get four print, dew, and white, which is nice. I know they're going to come out with more slowly but surely. So there, that's, that's their newborn. What have we got next? Oh, let's do fitteds. So usually you go your pre folds. Fitteds are great because any nappy. So if you've got a heavy wetter and they're out wetting everything, okay, in your normal MCNs. Fitteds are great because the whole thing's absorbent. There's somewhere for the wee to go everywhere. This is an Imagine Newborn. Okay. The Velcro tabs. Okay. Like the baby behinds, it's been designed to dry quickly. So the snap comes off and you can dry it quicker. Okay. And a wide elastic at the front. So if you want something that has more absorbency and you're finding, say just your normal newborn nappy, the MCM with pool cover, isn't enough, your pre-fold, your, your fitteds are a great choice and they go really well with Care Bear covers. 
Okay. So fitted, all right? So it's, all, it's just all absorbent. That's why fitted's rock. It's just all absorbent. Next. All in one. Now, I'm waiting for these to come in the um, Care Bears, which should arrive today. Jordana, I've just joined the live video. Sorry, I missed the start. Does the newborn meconium stain the bamboo lining of nappies? My little squishy do a match. Uh, no, it shouldn't because it's water soluble. However, some mums have found it may do because it's been left for a little while in the nappy. Maybe you were busy, maybe they did, did poo while you're breastfeeding and they take an hour to breastfeed. No, it should not. Um, you should just be able to wash it and off you go. Um, remove it, you know, if you can remove it, do that. Spray it off with a little um, squirt um, or a handheld in the sink or just dunk it and rinse it off under the tap. Uh, no, it should not stain. Mine didn't stain. Should not stain unless you leave it there for a couple of days and don't rinse it off. Just I hope that answers your question. Alrighty. So I'm waiting for these to come in. The little Joey's and Care Bear. Bold and beautiful, this um these Care Bears. Radio. Those who watch Bold, I, my mother watches um, Bold and Beautiful. And whenever she comes over, I, I get one episode or three episodes a year and it always amazes me the story does not move on all right so these are little joeys by rumparoos they are a all in one and uh, you could call it a true all in one because everything's sewn in okay there are no flaps like your baby behinds all in one because it has the flap that comes out Okay, so there is a bit of fiddling around with this one to wash it, okay, because you've got to put it in the pocket and take it out, make sure you dry it, blah, 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 okay. If you don't want to deal with that, for whatever reason, little joeys, they are a micro chamois top, like a micro fleece, and it's microfiber in the middle. Now, they are sewn so beautifully is the reason for the price. Okay, so they're like a just so like a disposable. They go on, they come off. They are a bit smaller, so they are for the first very first few weeks. Okay, you do get two size settings. You can't really see it on this one. So for the, when Bub just comes out, so assuming about three kilos, you snap it underneath and you have the snap down for the umbilical cord. Velcro nappies, you don't need the snap down because you just move the nappy down for the velcro for the umbilical cord. Jamie Lee, how long do they fit? I'm due in Feb. The little joeys, I'm assuming. Uh, about five kilos. Where's my piece of paper? 12 pounds, premier to three months. So 12 pounds is what they say. Some mums find they fit longer. Some find they fit for about six weeks. It's really a Depends on your bub. Having a couple in your stash just for that quick change is good. Night time is great. Whack it on, off you go. They are snap, but they're only one snap. So we talked about snaps before. Now that comes up. So you can see how a bit bigger. I was talking about middle, wasn't I? Okay. So there is, oh, here we go. This guy's premi. And I'll put this on the biggest setting and you can have a look how much room there is okay so this guy's a premier size bub and this is on the biggest setting so he's got room here around the leg oh the leg's good too so you've got lots there and it comes up under his armpits even a bit further stephanie how long so yeah three months if you don't have a chubba bubba um Stephanie says, I've got some joeys for my bub due in a few weeks. Are they any? Yeah, they're good for boys. So I'll talk about the middle. Hi, Crystal. So the middle. Okay. There's absorbency all the way through. Okay. And what you'll find is you've got the patent and the patent has come through. Double, double gusset. This is the only nappy with the patent double gusset. All right. So instead of being on the elastic here, it's further within the nappy to keep those poos in. And they've got this so down the bit middle, which um, bummies do as well, as a so down the middle. 
Um, that helps move the liquid to the center instead of out to the sides. Okay, so putting that in moves the liquid down. All right. Now, if you do need to boost this one, you can with a small booster. I've had parents have success with a newborn pre-fold. Okay, just gotta make sure you get that seal because it does add a bit. You can add the Baby B Heinz booster. It just doesn't fit beautifully in those gussets. That's the only thing to be aware of. Okay, that's the only thing. So yes, you can boost them. What else could you boost them with? I'd go for something small. You could always make your own, but small and not too chunky, okay? They're like a disposable. This is just what you use. I hope that's clear. Stephanie, ask your questions. Alrighty, excellent. Okay, where to? Um, I'll just show you this one. We cannot, this is similar to um, the, similar to the Joey. Um, it's just a bit cheaper. Jordana, are the Joey's just newborn size or do they have bigger sizes too? I love the double gusset my boy was so. Um, they're, and I don't have one here, but they do a one size pocket nappy um, with the double gusset. So the pocket's at the back and you get two really thirsty inserts um, in microfiber and you can upgrade to bamboo or hemp. Okay, so yes they do. We use them for Nathan, who did the poos. Um, they were awesome. We really liked them and um, nice and trim as well. All right, so this is the Imagine Newborn Nappy. Um, we're gonna be getting these in in 2018 as another option. They're a bit cheaper than your Joey's, but they're an all-in-one. And again, it's like their um, fitted that I showed you, the insert snaps in and out and they're bamboo. Okay, but similar at the front, you got your two sizings and your umbilical snap down. There you go, already. Okay, and you got your two sizings as well. I, these go a little bit longer on bub. So they're a bit bigger compared to your little joeys. A little bit bigger. These are bamboo and these are microfiber. So you can see these are a little bit bigger. Alrighty. Okay, got a few questions up. Um, answer that, Jordana. Um, uh, oh, then you've got, oh, I've got to show you that. You can still get these. Where are we? Do you remember the pilchers? You can still get them. Bummies do these. I'm terrible at dropping these. Um, bummies do these. This is the newborn. Go over your um, flats. Okay. And flats you can stuff with an inch of their life. So you can still get the pilchers. These are breathable, they're not a plastic paint. So much better. Alrighty. The last kind of nappy is your all in two newborn. And this is where I get a little bit silly because I love the funky fluffs, all in two, okay? I just thought I'd show you the come by yard print. This one's just, all right. So funky fluff is an all in two. It can also be a pocket or an all in one, but I like to call it an all in two with the option for a pocket. All right, so you get two inserts, two different sizes and the cover, all right? I love the cover because it reminds me of Bum Genius. All right, it's a lovely stretchy and it's got the stitching around the side. It's an enclosed elastic as well and it's lined with bamboo and a nice pocket as well. All right. So if you have a premi, you can snap it down. Oh, I've got Matthew. Oh, I haven't introduced you to Catherine yet. This is Catherine. She's had a hard night how I felt this morning. Um, I didn't do a hair. Anyway, so this is Catherine. So they, these are my dolls from my childhood. They come in very handy with the business. Um, she's losing her pants and her shoes. But I'll pop it on her and you can see because it's pink. It's for a girl. So when you have a preemie for funky fluff, you snap it right down to the smallest setting and you just need one insert. 
Now you can lay the insert in or you can snap it in. Snapping it in keeps it in place better. Come here, sweetie. Alrighty. What can I show you? I need a bigger box, don't I? Alrighty. So putting on your nappy. Now this has two. Oh, what a lovely bit. It's a lovely stretch as well. And I'll overstretch it so you can see. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Joe, this is a display nappy. Yeah, I've, I've, I've overstretched it so you can see it's nice and stretch. There you go. Alrighty. Tuck it all up. That's your premie size with one insert. And then you can use, so you get two inserts, you get two nappy changes for one. I use the pilches with my boy over night nappies. Lots of room. Yes, there are, Hannah. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, they're awesome. Now, as Bub gets bigger, you've got another three size settings, two snap down and fully open. And as Bub gets bigger, you snap them all together. And then snap it in. And it's only one snap, it's not two, and it snaps at the back. And I don't have. So, that's your funky fluff. And it's a bamboo absorbency, and it has the lots of snapping. And that's your newborn size, premi size. Look at that. I need more kids. I really do. Radio. I've exhausted uh, the newborn nappies that we stock. I'm here if you have any questions right now. So if you've got a any brand, I don't mind, it's fine. Um, and I can answer them. Any tips you'd like, um, yeah, to ask away. I, so when I newborn nappied, I, when I, with my Abigail, and I started, I had baby beehives covers and their fitteds. So you don't need the extra inserts on their fitteds, you just use the, the outer shell of the fitted. Um, and then I use the inserts one at a time for extra nappy changes. So for each fitted nappy, I should have one here. Um, which cost would you like, Jamie Lee? Which product? Because there was a few there. <laughs> Um, then I've got two more nappy changes because I'd use the small one and then the long snake that comes with it. So I'd get three nappy changes per fitted, which is great value for a newborn nappy. I've used washes. I have used hand towels. What if I go as I used? Oh, you can use your, you can also get your bird's eye flats, your, bir your bird's eye. They're, they're a very thin cotton that you can use for wrapping bub up, snuggling them up. Um, they're good in the very beginning because they let you customise your absorbency. Oh, Jamie Lee, I'm going to go to say go to the website because I don't remember them all up here. They range from about two, three dollars for a pre-fold all the way up to twenty-five dollars for funky fluff. So I'm going to say go to the website <laughs> and have a look. Just pop on the newborn category and it'll all come up for you. Um, because I can't get them in my head. Um, What's it saying? Yeah, so you get your bird eyes flat as well. So they're, they're like your these. They're not as absorbent though, but they can make great boosters as well. Um, yeah. Sorry, can help Jamie Lee. Okay. I'm done. Alrighty, so to win a newborn cover in Care Bears from Rumperoos, you need to comment below Care Bears. That's it. And if you're feeling kind and loving, you can share this video with your friends. You can like it, because you know Facebook makes me work harder these days for a bit of love. Now, the Care Bears have a snap that's a little love heart. They really thought about this. All right, and this was in um, consultation with Care Bears with their 30 years. They actually approached Rumpa Roos 
she said, would you do this? Which was lovely. There's a love heart, there's the official tag. Um, so I'm sure there's gonna be some rip-offs coming out. <laughs> um, but it's got the Rumperoo snaps. Um, yeah, so comment Care Bears, I'm gonna um, draw it tonight at eight o'clock Queensland time. So that's where I live. Um, randomly go through and choose. Um, and you can win a newborn care bear cup. Alrighty, I hope that answered everyone's questions or at least got you thinking about using newborns. Using newborns from newborn, it's a good idea. Um, you can do it with pre-folds for about a hundred bucks, um, which is cheaper than buying all the disposable nappies. You usually need about four, four to six boxes and they're usually about 30 bucks each. So you can save money from the beginning and then you can use your pre-folds as boosters later on. So that's a really good option. We've got a few mums commenting that they're for the first time taking them to the hospital, the newborn nappies. I'm hoping for some photos to see it in action. There you go. Alright guys, it is Tuesday. It's my second busiest day of the week and thank you for bearing with me and joining me this morning. It's been lovely. Comment Kevin! Happy Tuesday!